Hey everyone, welcome back to XYZ Architect, where we turn complex metrology into something clear and practical. Today, we're talking about five of the most common mistakes in 3D measurements, and more importantly, how you can avoid them. Whether you're new to CMM or already experienced, these errors can sneak up on you. So let's get to it. Mistake number one, using the wrong coordinate system. Your measurement is only as good as your reference. If your features used in the base alignment doesn't match the functional requirements of the workpiece, you're introducing huge potential errors. Also, in this category, we have other datum references that aren't used by mistake. Not once I've seen characteristics that require to be evaluated from other references and in the measurement software, I found them evaluated in the base alignment. A tip for this mistake is to always start by checking the drawing, understand the datum structure and build your alignment based on function, not just convenience. Mistake number two, unstable or incorrect fixturing. If the part moves, vibrates or isn't fully supported, your results are unreliable. Maybe you didn't read clearly the technical drawing. Maybe you missed the specifications about the fixturing. Maybe there aren't any specifications about the fixturing. Characteristics that have the specification to be measured in free state are not respected. A tip for this mistake is to use stable, repeatable fixtures, avoid clamping over critical features, and always make sure the part suits drawing specifications. Mistake number three, not correcting the nominal values from the technical drawing. Many times CAD models are slightly different from the drawing. Maybe the model has a simplified geometry or the export messed the nominals a little. Leaving the nominals extracted from the CAD data means adding deviations on the evaluated characteristics. Here's a tip. Always cross-check the CAD data with the actual technical drawing. If needed, Manually update the nominal values in your software to match what's on paper. Otherwise, your deviations results will be misleading. Mistake number four, using the wrong stylus for the feature you're measuring. If you're using a large diameter stylus on a very small surface, the contact points might not represent the geometry correctly. You can see this on the normal of the points. This leads to false measurements, especially on tight surfaces. The tip for this mistake is to use a small diameter styli for small surfaces to get real contact. But for edge touches or functional surfaces, if possible, never go below a 3mm stylus. And mistake number 5, using the wrong association type for features. For example, measuring a plane with only 3 points when evaluating flatness or using the wrong fitting method, like Gaussian instead of minimum features. This mistake can give you inconsistent results. Remember that all drawings have the Torrent standard set, modified or not. Watch clearly the indicator. The tolerance standard is either inside or near it. Here's the tip for this mistake. Always choose the association type that matches the design intent and ISO or ASME interpretation. A bad association leads to good numbers that means nothing. So those are five common measurement mistakes. Wrong alignment, bad fixturing, incorrect nominal values, wrong stylus choice, and wrong association type. As you might notice, all problems are related to the technical drawing. Do you have the correct understanding of the drawing? 
If not, in the comments below, you can find the link to my course on Udemy on how to read and interpret a technical drawing. Maybe you are lucky and find it on sale. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what mistakes you've seen in your measurement laboratory. Until next time, stay precise.